Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild and Mikey Gaming. And it's time to move it, move it with our next Let's Play, Madagascar. Oh, there's the demo. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's get started. Here we go. So, yeah, the creator played a lot of this back when he was a kid. Oh yeah, he had a lot of fun with this game. You guys don't think we'll get in trouble for this, do ya? I hope not. I just, I was immediately thinking of The Lion King. Why is this one up? Cause, Cause you know, the opening of The Lion King starts with the sun rising. Oh yeah. Look at Marty go. He's having the time of his life. And there's Alex. So now we start out the game, so we have to collect three power cards, and we'll get a new ability. So we have the new power. Kick. Alright, collect coins to buy items in the souvenir shop. Silver coins are worth one, gold coins are worth five. So then we can kick open the gate. Let's go talk to Alex. Oh, all I can think about now is the Beak episode. Why is that, Phineas? Well, um, in that episode, the main bad guy, Kaka Poo Poo, <laughs> yeah, real funny, Snoopy. Uh, Kaka Poo Poo was voiced by Ben Stiller, who was the voice of Alex. Even though Alex isn't voiced by Ben Stiller in the game, because you know he's a celebrity and it's. Hard to get celebrity voices for video games. Wait, didn't wasn't Ben Stiller also on um uh, uh your talk show Take Two with Phineas and Ferb? Yes, yes he was. So yeah, now we're playing as Alex, and what I think is pretty cool about this game is that every character has their own unique abilities to them, kind of like Nicktoons Unite. I mean, I won't say that this game is perfect, because it's not, but we do have tons of nostalgia for it. So, Marty can kick, what can Alex do? He can roar! 
Now we have the new power. Double jump. Flashbacks to the movie game. Well, look here. It's that overly pampered lion. Let's show him who the real kings of New York are. Uh oh. I can't believe they got away with this in a kid's game. Time to get those pigeons. Oh no, you don't. Right, here we go. So we have to go all the way back up to the top? Yeah. Eh. I know Snoop gets weird. We should have gotten those rings first. Is it just me or does... Alex's habitat looked a lot bigger in the game than it does in the actual movie. Huh. You're onto something there, Twilight. It does seem that way. You know, um, Melman reminds me a little bit of Carl from Jimmy Neutron. Personality-wise, I mean. Oh yeah, if we pop enough balloons, Melman's... Uh, Marty! Marty, not Melman. What am I saying? Marty's voice will become high-pitched, but we're not gonna do that. So yeah, there are these arcade games that we can play. There's uh, one in each of the city levels, but... Let's not, let's not do that right now. Of course you have mouths. You're talking right now. So yeah, Gloria can use her tumble attack when she presses the attack button. Basically, it's a somersault. And these peppers will give her a speed boost. Reminds me of the time I was the quickster. It reminds me of those super speed shoes Ferb and I built. All I can think about now is how fast I was able to fly after I absorbed the rest of the princess's magic. Not for long you aren't. All we have to do is keep eating those peppers. Not 
today. Yeah! So here we are in the penguin pool. I'm pretty sure that the penguins are the only characters in this game who are voiced by the same guys who voiced them in the movie. Which, you know, makes sense because the penguins are voiced by, you know, the people who worked on the movie. We will say that the penguins are probably our favorite DreamWorks characters. Oh well, yeah, they're very funny. If we miss, we have to start over. Well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, wait, maybe we don't. Oh, maybe that was just a cutscene. Technique! So now we gotta go for the green thing. Oh, nope, that's not green. Got one! Okay, we just need one more. Oh. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. ones earlier. Where did they go? Well, it doesn't matter. We got them all. So now that we've captured the fish, we need to catch other um, goodies, so to speak. Oh, we can also reel in We got the coin. Right. That's one hat. Oh, sorry. Just wanted to get the coin. Collect a tiki to restore a point of lost health. Collect 10 tikis to earn an extra life.
things up around here. I'm not afraid of a little dirt. I thought Rarity hated germs. We gotta get rid of everything before the time runs out. sense of the word. Snoopy, you don't think Woodstock will take offense to this, do you? So, yeah, you can really tell Marty is just sick of zoo life. He wasn't like this too much in the movie. Or at least, he wasn't that direct about it. So, yeah, we unlock the new level, Marty's Escape. But also, we've got the souvenir shop. So, here we've got... Apparel, which is, um, we can change the looks of the characters, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. There are extras. We can get a coin magnet, even though we don't have enough for that. Uh, two times life tikis. We also don't have enough of that. Flame prints, which just make it look like that our, our footprints are on fire. And extra health, which gives us another hit point. And then we have mini games. We have uh, Tiki Mini Golf, Lima Rave, and Shuffleboard. We might do a bonus part after we complete the main game where we'll play uh, Tiki Mini Golf because we really enjoy that. Actually, let's unlock that right now. But extra is, uh, actually, let's get an extra health while we're here. So yeah, um, well, everybody, this concludes part one of Madagascar. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in part two. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time.